Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. We're going to take you to Bundle Town. Yep. Bundle Town. This is uh, Disney trying to rustle up some more subscribers for their streaming services. Yes, today is National Streaming Day, which is an unofficial Disney holiday. holiday. Well, no, it's actually Roku who started it a few oh, years ago. Okay. But Disney's going to take full advantage of it. And the way they're doing this stuff screams of desperation. Yeah. It sounds like me, because a lot of it's for the U.S., it sounds like maybe their subscribers are flatlining or dipping. Um, yeah, they would have access to those numbers, I'm sure, already. And, and we know that uh, to hit the target they had in mind for Disney Plus to be profitable, they have to get like 9 or 10 million new subscribers per month. And, and we talked about this rap article from a couple of days ago where they said that uh, they're gonna top out on Marvel and Star Wars fans. That mm -hmm. you know Marvel and Star Wars is not gonna be enough to bring new subscribers to the, the platform, but they're gonna give you Hulu for a buck, I guess, for a couple of months. And of course, we know ads are coming to Disney Plus and they're gonna take you down to Bundle Town. Yeah, this Bundle, Bundle Town. Town is something. Let me yeah. show you. Let's watch the, the Bundle I'll Town. I'll skip around because I don't wanna get in trouble for demonetization. Uh, we don't wanna get in trouble, but from Disney. Bundle Town. So look, you go. Oh, we got like Disney Plus, and then we, wow, and then that's Hulu. Wow, Hulu's hip. Look at and Hulu. And then yeah, well, it's so hip. Green look, hair. Green that's hair, what they Hulu. want. And then there's ESPN. And of course, ESPN is like catching the ball outside the stadium because you're that awesome. And at the end, y'all are at Bundle Town because look, oh, this guy's the sports guy's in a wheelchair now, because Bundle Town's where all the hip people hang out. All the green hairs and the... And then if that's not enough, you can go down to work in interactive, the Disney Plus District, the Hulu Hub, ESPN's Winter Circle, or and then the greetings from Bundletown. Because this is smacks of desperation. Greetings from Bundletown. <laughs> I just, I mean, and then the deal they're giving you isn't even the bundle. They're pushing the bundle because it's streaming day. And they're making announcements and stuff. Like we got like, oh, Baymax is coming to Disney Plus and, and Zombies 3, well, this time with aliens. And they all have an A hyphen name for whatever reason. And RuPaul is the mothership, apparently. RuPaul is yeah. the mothership. That is so current year Disney. So yes. um, okay. they have all these announcements today on these different channels if you follow them. But they're approaching the bundle town, but their deal has isn't the, isn't the bundle. It's on the ad supported. Let's talk about this briefly. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, over uh, 268,000 subs. Uh, not enough to compete with Disney Plus yet, no, but no. more than no. CNN <laughs> Plus had. So we have that going for us. Uh, yeah, this this feels kind of uh, desperate-ish. Well, look at all the stuff we can find hidden in here. Like we got, we got up, there's the castle. Stark, Stark Tower, Avengers Tower, I'm sorry, Gusto's. Uh, is this National Geographic logo here? The Handmaid's Tale on oh, the Oh, back here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something American Saga. By and large, down here. By and large. Yes. I got that reference. I got that. I reference. mean, it's just like really, you know. <sighs> Pride Rock. Pride Rock in the background. Where's Pride Rock? Oh, back. you're right, right here. Yeah, and then we got, what's this up here? Oh my God, it's the DreamWorks moon. What What's it doing here? I just Get the hell out of here, DreamWorks. I thought it was Moon Knight something. I don't know. Is there some, oh, Loki back here, hidden. I'm like, yeah. I mean, they all like this? They all like Somebody this? Somebody spent a lot of time on that, though. I hope they got paid well. Oh, no, it's the same thing. It's that we just get closer, like, closer views of it. So okay. this is like a theme park. Their bundle is like a theme park with the hub. Oh, they kind of, you know, they kind of pitch it like a theme park type thing. Yeah. Um. So what they're doing to try to get more people to subscribe to their different different streaming platforms is like Hulu. You can get a dollar a month for three months if you subscribe, you know, a dollar a month and you pay that dollar a month each month. Yeah. So it's three dollars for three months. If you subscribe to their ad-supported tier. And they hope you forget to cancel it. Right. Act that at $6.99 <laughs> a month. This is open to new and, and previous, select previous customers that are coming back. If you are a current customer, you're not allowed to do this. Yeah. Um, have a lot of people canceled Hulu because Hulu... Well, that's what I'm wondering. With TV, it used to be like... 
Now this isn't the TV version, but the, the version with live TV used to be like 40 bucks. Now it's like 70 bucks. This is the ad supported version. And they said here, um, you can cancel any time, dollar a month for three months. So each month you have three uh, pay a dollar. Then it's $6.99. You can cancel at any time. Oh, online or by calling us. I'm like, oh, right. you have to call us. Oh, we can't complete your cancellation request. Oops. Yeah, existing Hulu subscribers are not able to change their Hulu subscription to take advantage of the dollar a month pricing on our ad supported plan. It's only available to new and eligible returning customers. And yeah, and you can't use it, you can't like get this and say, okay, well, I want to do a dollar a month for only other plans. It has to be this plan only. But it sounds like this is the same deal they gave Black Friday when they were trying to get their numbers up then. It comes across to me like, shit, our numbers are dropping and yeah. we got to get those up before the end of the quarter, which would end at what the end of june yeah so three months that that covers a quarter so they'll have a bunch of subscribers that'll probably and a dollar, leave, yeah afterwards. and they'll probably leave after that yeah that's exactly what they're they're doing um this this feels very desperate mm -hmm. uh and this is kind of like the end of uh you know fiscal year last year too they were like hey let's do some promos or whatever they're gonna hit a ceiling it's gonna be like netflix eventually they're gonna hit a ceiling everybody who wants disney Disney Plus or Hulu or whatever, they've already got them. Um, right. Other than going to other countries. And it's also, well, this is mostly for the U.S., though. Yeah. All this stuff is U.S. Because other stuff, they're opening a new territory. So, of course, they're doing well. They're often cheaper, but they're doing well. So, they're trying to, you know, get the numbers up here because we have Netflix and stuff dropping as, as well. But it's also interesting, this came right after the upfront. Yes. Which they were appealing to advertisers, and that's for the ad-supported tier. And then uh, Disney Plus is going to start having an ad-supported tier. Not yet, but I bet you'll promote the hell out of that for a dollar, too, probably, initially. It, we're just going back to cable. You know, because I remember Disney Channel used to pay for Disney Channel. And back in the 80s, 80s it was like, what, 20 bucks a month or something like that, I think. I don't and then, then they went to the commercial supported version and everybody got the Disney Channel for free basically it's part of basic cable but yeah I remember for the first like five or six years at least it was it was like $20 a month yeah we had to pay for it for us that we had satellite and we had to pay for it as an extra channel we had a box we had to pay for shit but uh, yeah, I know you told the story <laughs> we got all of it it's because my uncle knew a guy who knew a guy who made the the boxes he actually worked for the cable company yeah so we we had all the premium channels with none of the expense. I just remember hearing a story about the box where um, they put a thing up they knew would only go to the boxes. And they're like, oh, if you call this number, you oh, win yeah, this prize. Yeah. And people are like, oh, I want to win this prize. My first, like, 100 callers wins. And these people are calling, and that's how I knew who had a box. <laughs> yeah, so for all the kids in the back, for the kids who aren't, aren't aware of how it worked in the 80s, for premium channels back in the 1980s, uh, you, everybody had a cable box and we had like, or a, we had a, a receiver for our dish, a receiver, but they would be scrambled. Now you could usually hear the audio, but I got, and a lot of people use that for nefarious purposes. Playboy. Anyway. Yeah. I could hear a lot of, that was the only one we didn't get. Cause that was by request to keep that off of there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you could hear the audio, but the, the actual signal was scrambled. The shows were unwatchable. You got a nipple shot sometimes. Yeah. You're lucky. But they did that, too. Like, if you had a regular cable box and your, you know, Comcast or whatever they had back then. We had Cox cable, I think, is what it was. <laughs> no, you didn't. It was scrambled. <laughs> we didn't have it. Yeah. But, you know, like, you'd be like, oh, hey, they're having a free preview week of, of Disney Channel. So you could watch Disney Channel yeah. and scramble, and then they'd turn it back on, scramble it again. And uh, But, yeah, they had people selling boxes that would unscramble. Now, I was a little kid, so I didn't realize that it wasn't on the up and up until years later. Like, man, we must have been rich because we had everything. We had HBO. We had Showtime. We had, <laughs> you know, Cinemax. We had everything. Man, we must have been Except rich. Except for Playboy. Except for Playboy, yeah. But I'm like, nah, it's because my uncle was selling boxes. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Uh, I should have, given the other stuff he was into. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's all. the statutes up on that. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Oh, well. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been like 40 years. So. Um, yeah, my uncle was very good friends with lots of Italians. Let's put it. Let's put it that way. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. Anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. Is there anything else we want to add to this? No, I'm just, I just find it interesting that right after the upfront, when they're trying to get advertisers, you know, on board to spend a whole bunch of money on their different channels. And then Disney Plus is coming soon with advertisements. They put the, the Black Friday special up again. 
only U.S., only people that are returning or new. And they open it to returning customers, too. Usually you don't get that. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's it please sounds, come back. Yes, that's exactly. Please and then back. they have Bundle Town and all this other shit. It sounds to me Bundle like they're trying very hard to increase their subscribers. Now, I know that they do have to hit high numbers to hit their goal they've set for themselves. But it just, it just, it, it seems interesting to me. Like... Uh, yeah, it's it's desperate. I think they're freaking out. I think Netflix, I mean, if people are dropping Netflix, they're going to be dropping Disney Plus too. And if, if Obi-Wan winds up being the show that a lot of people think it's going to be, I can see people rage quitting over Obi-Wan. Yeah. Like, this is the last chance we're giving Star Wars. Like, if you F up an Obi-Wan Kenobi series, there is no hope. Right. And I, <laughs> I, I think at this point, there there is no hope. From what I've heard, I'm like, it's not going to be about Obi-Wan. Well, some of the, the spoilers they said for Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, I guess, I didn't watch it, but did not come true. So, you know, maybe it's just, you know, rumors. Or, I, who knows? I, find out. Some people said it was actually pretty good. I haven't watched it. Um, I really didn't have a lot of interest in it, but some people said it's actually, it's not terrible as long as you go into it knowing. It's not Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Right. They're riffing on Chip and Dale. It's the Roger Rat, Rabbit treatment. It's it's like the Brady Bunch movie. You know, I mean, if you go into it with that mindset, they said it's not terrible. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hey. Uh, if I run out of other things to watch, maybe I'll watch. <laughs> it's if I completely run out of everything to watch, even the Food Network shows and uh, the Alien yes, shows. Yes, Alien shows. And Pig Royalty. We have to catch up yeah, on we have Pig to catch Royalty. Then maybe someday I'll get around to watching Rescue Rangers. We'll see. We're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. You know, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she it. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>